I'm Oliver Slope with Blue Line Features coming to you from the Chicago Board of Trade with another episode of Tech Talk. It is Tuesday, October 19th. We've got three different markets for you here today. We've got corn, soy meal, and lean hogs to kick things off. We'll get started with the December corn market, which is what we've got pulled up here on the chart. We've had a nice relief rally following last week's bearish USDA report, and this is something we've been writing about in our daily reports is that a lot of the bearish news has been baked into the cake and a lot of times when that happens you start to see a relief rally does that mean that a longer term low is cemented in the market well i wouldn't go quite that far just yet we've still got some obstacles to get over uh before calling it a long-term low uh, obviously right here you can see some of those obstacles we're right back in this congestion area in the mid 530s this is also trend line resistance going back to the may highs we tested and failed against this trend line resistance several times tested it again and have so far failed if the bulls can chew through this resistance pocket potentially that spurs a little bit more uh, momentum to the upside and we can encourage uh, some upside mobility the next stop obviously that's psychologically significant 550 level but for now we wouldn't be surprised to see the market fail and retreat a little bit as we head into Friday's options expiration now moving over to the soy meal uh, market this is something we don't cover too often but we are starting to round out a little bit on, on the bottom side this is a market that's been just under tremendous amounts of pressure here over the last several months and maybe we're to that point where we're, we're starting to carve out a low you can see how oversold we were with the rsi down here at 22. typically the rsi or the relative strength index anything below 30 signals oversold and essentially meaning that there might not be that much more room to the downside and we need some sort of consolidation uh, to reset things so that's what we're starting to see here this week so some consolidation today was a nice move higher but we've still got a lot of work to do on the charts to repair the technical damage that has been done over the last several months this is next level that we're looking at here is at about 335 if we can get up there I think that's where you probably look to reduce some of the long exposure if you're buying this dip down here uh, against these these recent lows now there's several ways to play this market futures obviously is one but we've been using a lot of different option strategies something that gives us uh, a good amount of time without having to worry about these intraday and intra week swings so looking to the call side of things there's a lot of different opportunities out there with outright calls or some different option spreads that we're working as well and if you've got questions on, on different option spreads to play feel free to give us a call and we'd be happy to, to help you put together a strategy to try to capitalize or at least give yourself some skin into the game uh, to the upside here in the near term. Now, moving over to the livestock side of things and wrapping things up, we've got December lean hogs. This is a market that's been consolidating for the last week or so right near this gap that goes all the way back to september 21st at 77.20 we got within two ticks of filling that gap on october 14th and again i think it was about three ticks from filling that gap in today's session we continue to believe that this is a buying opportunity especially from a risk reward perspective a break and close below the 77.20 you take your medicine and you move on but you know what your risk is and it's limited to that support pocket if we can continue to defend the support pocket we're looking to fill this gap to the upside, which we saw on October 8th, and that comes in closer to that 81, 81 and a quarter area. So we like the risk reward side here in soy meal and lean hogs, corn, we don't mind fading it against technical resistance. So those, that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the Chicago Board of Trade. Remember, trading futures and options involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Thanks a lot.